the weird thing about the astral is what we're going to talk about today. And boy, do I have an exciting message to share you at the end of this video. <laughs> no, I don't. That's just a gimmick people fucking use. <clears throat> it's called a rehook, and I've got to hook you and then rehook you. So actually, I do have a very interesting surprise at the end of the video for you. All right. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I'm just fucking bullshitting you. Do you know that I heard that 90% of all videos in the next couple of years or so are going to be AI generated? And uh, <clears throat> so I got to step up my game or get me a really good AI avatar fucking thing going, right? One or the other. And uh, so, anyway. <clears throat> We're going to talk about astral stuff. And the weird thing about the astral is the word itself. Uh, when we say astral plane or astral travel, what does that even mean, right? It depends on the genre you're in, okay? So, the way we are going to use it, or the way I'm learning to use it now, and I'm going to be referring to it this way, is that it is very much like a belief system territory, all right? So all realms or realities, densities, universes, timelines, alternate, un, alternate uh, parallel timeline tracks, and all that stuff, you could say they are belief system territories because when you are in them, whether you have a physical looking avatar body or you're just uh, a point of view looking and experiencing your environment. Either way, mm, the thing is created by your imagination, your thoughts, mm, and your beliefs. Yeah, okay. So what happens is someone will go into... Mm, the fall asleep, and then they'll wake up in the astral, right? They wake, they're waking up in a realm or territory, a universe, a matrix, a construct in the mind, all right? And they don't have to think up every detail consciously. It's already like pre-programmed by the subconscious, all right? So let's say they're going into... Uh, uh, a realm and they're going to fight like astral warriors. They're going to uh, duke it out with the cabal astral agents. And the cabal astral agents will be doing things in the astral that is closely connected with this third density, what we call third density earth plane. And they're doing things there to affect change in the physical world. So what we do in the thought realms influences what we experience in the physical world. That's kind of the basis of the manifestation stuff, right? So the cabal bad boys know this. And so they go into the astral or a belief system territory and they do their bad boy stuff. Okay. So astral warriors uh, tune into those realms, those belief system territories, and duke it out one way or another, doing one thing or another. We'll talk some more details about that later. And we're going to do some interviews with astral travelers in a different video. And uh, But you, be sure to stay tuned for the end of this video because I have something really exciting for you. <laughs> you're going to fucking love it. Oh, it's No, you're not. It's nothing. It's, it's a fucking nothing burger. Don't even fucking bother. You leave now. because, <laughs> But you'll miss out on the fun at the end. I'm just saying. Okay. All that aside, uh, <clears throat> back to business here. So the astral is like the all that is. It's the consciousness mm, environmental experience of what you are thinking and feeling and focusing on and believing and agreeing to and manifesting and dreaming and all of that, all right? So we've kind of got it organized into... Uh, oh, oh, I just thought... You know what I just thought? I just thought of uh, that one guy 
is going to say, this motherfucker is just fucking rambling. Some, you know, nasty little shit. You know, he's right. I'm in a ramble fucking mood. So, fuck him, man. <laughs> fuck you for being right, motherfucker. Anyway, I'm in a mood. All right. I made a breakthrough. I call it a breakthrough. <laughs> you might call it a fucking train wreck. But uh, a breakthrough in understanding of thyself. Okay. The multidimensionality of self. Mm. And the, the self, as we experience life in this world, we are a composite character. We are composed of various personalities, characters. Carl Jung might call them archetypes. Tony Robbins call them kind of archetypes too. Uh, we call them parts parties, uh, the uh, internal family system, it's all this. And are they entities? Are they programs? Are they just aspects of your character? Are they parts of you? It's all parts of you, even if they're entities or egregors fucking driving you nuts. It's all really, it's all you, the big you. But we look at the game and how to play it and how to experience it and how to deal with our problems and life and emotions by being a certain character in the play of life. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that character is actually a composite. I mean, you can be in the character for a, a little bit and then you'll shift. Uh, it's like, cut, scene two, and you got to run into the wings there, change your fucking costume, and come back out as a new character. You were an uh, asshole boss at work, and now you're a uh, great dad at home. Right? Kind of like that. Or a uh, great, great boss at work and asshole dad at home. Something like that. We, we change characters all the time. All right. So, it's all in here. Okay. So, I've had some interesting breakthroughs in that. And I want to share that with you, too. But right now, we're talking about the astral. And astral warriors. Really, Rich? Are we? Really? I don't know.